Acres. This is Andy Howard. For those of you who haven't met me yet, um, I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm from Florida originally. That's where I lived most of my life. And I moved to Atlanta in 2016. This routine I'll be teaching today is a uh, pretty solid intermediate level. Uh, the song is Sunday Best by the group Surfaces. And this is a total bop. This is a song that makes me smile when it comes on the radio. It's just uplifting and happy, and I've been thinking about writing a clogging routine to this for quite a while. So I'm glad you gave me the occasion to do that. We're gonna go through all the sections of the dance. Uh, we're gonna start off at a 90% speed, and then we'll work our way up to 100%. And at the very end, I'll show you one challenge step that we can substitute in but it's not required. So we'll dance the whole dance, regular way, and then after that, I'll show you the harder step if you wanna add it in. So let's get started. There's an introduction of 32 counts, and then we're gonna start with our chorus, and our left foot's gonna lead. Here we go. We've got two cha-cha or cha-cha basics. Okay, so without any turns, the left foot will lead. We're gonna step in front and then step back, left and right, so left, right and take three little steps you can say cha 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 one two three that means the right foot's free to do the same thing in front again front back one two three we're going to turn half on these and it's a backwards turn okay so what we're going to instead of doing a pivot some people like to do step pivot cha 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 if your left foot leads in front one two you're going to turn back over your left shoulder one two three let's try that ready and go one two cha 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 and then the right foot's going to lead do the same thing take us half over our right shoulder to go back front the same wall we travel towards we can do it again right foot leads this time one two cha 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 okay forward and back left foot five six seven and go one two turn cha cha right foot lead one two cha 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 left foot's free now we're gonna do a rock pull series there's actually gonna be three rock pull steps so the first one's on the left foot a quick rock rock right foot's gonna lead step together then you're gonna do the same thing on the right foot. Rock, step, and left together. And one more, left foot leads, rock, step, together. Add a basic. Okay, five, six, rock, pull, step, go. Rock, pull, step, rock, pull, step, rock, pull, step, and a basic. Okay, one more time, six, seven eight rock pull step rock pull step rock pull step and a basic all right the first two rock pull steps we're going to travel right and travel left just like we just did but the third instead of traveling to the right again we're going to do a rock pull pivot so our rocks on the left foot for that third one Right foot's gonna lead with the pull, but we're gonna also turn over our left shoulder, okay? So a quick pivot would look like this. Rock, step, together, and a basic. If you prefer more of like a swish turn, you can do that too with a rock, swish, and a basic. Just a little slower on that turn. You have options, so whatever works best for you. Putting them all together slowly, we're gonna travel right to the left, Add the turn and a basic. Five, six, rock, pull, step, go. Rock, pull, rock, pull, rock, pull, turn. Rock, pull, turn, and a basic. Okay, we're facing the back, and we're gonna start the chorus all over again from those cha-chas. Okay, so let's go back to the front, do it one time through the face of the back, we'll stop, I'll count us back in, and do it again to face the front. Two cha-chas, five, six left foot leads rock in front turn on the cha 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 right foot leads turn right cha cha rock pull to the right rock pull rock pull turn 
half and the basic and stop. Okay, left foot's free. Same thing, we're gonna travel over this other side wall now. Left foot leads, cha-cha. Five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, turn left, cha-cha. Right foot, one, two, turn right, cha-cha. Rock, pull, rock, pull, rock, pull, rock, pull, pivot, turn, and a base. Okay? So that is the whole course. There's only three parts of this dance, and you already know the first one. Okay, part B is a verse, and we're gonna start this off with a traveling Joey forward. Left foot's gonna lead, regular Joey. Left foot, go, double step, back, out, step, back, out, step. Right foot's free, we're gonna do a chain or a push off. Three quarters, you can airplane chain if you want. Three quarters right, ready and go. Five, six, seven, and eight, okay? We're gonna do the Joey again, but we're not gonna do the chain. Five, six, Joey forward, go facing the quarter wall. But this time we're gonna do a stomp double basic to turn the three quarters instead of the chain. And we're gonna clap as our foot picks up before the stomp. So the stomp's on the one, so our clap is on and. So right foot's free, seven, eight. And stomp, double step, double step, rock step. Face the front. Here we go, five, six, Joey and an airplane. Airplane three quarters. Joey forward. Clap, stomp, double, basic turn, three quarters. All right, face the front. Okay, we have the next step is called a Birmingham step. Uh, the breakdown of a Birmingham step is fairly popular here in the States. Uh, left foot's gonna start off with another lift and stomp. Right foot's gonna double step across, double step. Left foot, take a step behind. Now, instead of doing a double step, you're gonna do a double rock step. So right foot's gonna do a double, but into a rock step. Okay, we're used to doing double into step. So double rock step. So, so far, we have left foot up on, and stomp, double step, stomp, double rock step. From here, toe slide, right foot's gonna toe slide behind, left foot's gonna come up, some of you might notice a toe chug, or toe slide, right foot, toe slide, double basic. All that together is the Birmingham, eight count step. It goes like this, six, seven, and eight. Lift, stomp, double step, stomp, double rock step, toe slide, double basic. Again, five, six, Birmingham lift, and Okay, we're gonna add that clap on the and like we did on the stomp double basic. Okay, the and before you stomp. Six, seven, eight, clap, stomp. Okay, there's two Birminghams in a row and we're gonna turn a quarter over our left shoulder on count five of each, which is that toe slide. Okay, so I'm gonna face the front and show you the turn. It's gonna go and stomp, double step, stomp, double rock step, toe slide, double basic, and turn a quarter on the toe slide, okay? So remember, we're facing the back now. We just did our chain, our joey with a chain, and a joey with a stomp double. Now we're facing the back, and we're gonna do two Birminghams turning a quarter left each. Five, Six, seven, eight. Clap, stomp, double step, stomp, double rock step. Toast like turn, double basic, do it again. Clap, stomp, double step, stomp, double rock step. Toast like turn, double basic. All right, you know all of part B, only one part left. Let's do all of part B together. Five, six, Joey forward, go. Airplane chain three quarters. Joey forward. Clap, stomp, double, basic three quarters. 
clap Birmingham. Turn a quarter. Clap Birmingham. Turn a quarter. Again, five, six, Joey forward. Chain three quarters. Joey forward. Clap stomp double basic. Clap Birmingham. Turn a quarter. Clap Birmingham. Nice. Okay. I promised we do an advanced step later on after we have the whole dance settled. And that step is going to replace the second Birmingham, so if you so choose. But for now, just two Birminghams. That's the way it was written. The other is a bonus. And this step's literally called the bonus. So, uh, part C. We're going to start off with, um, actually, let's do that much of music. All right, here we go. 90%, so we're not even slowing it down that much. It's not a very fast song. 32 counts. Starting off with that cha-cha, cha-cha in our rock pools. Samba uh, heel swivel on it. It goes like this. Double step, heel swivel, and as you're doing that heel swivel, the left foot kind of does a little loop there. So double step, heel swivel, then the right is going to rock step twice. Rock, step, rock, step. One more heel swivel with a loop, heel swivel, rock step, once and then a single basic on the right. Seven and eight. So the count on this step goes and a one and a two, rock on three, rock on four, swivel on five, rock on six, do a basic on the right. Okay? Now, in order to make it travel, you want to make sure when you plant the heel for the heel swivel, it's a little bit to the right, and that loop comes behind. Rock, cross, rock, cross, heel, swivel, loop behind, single basic. I'm limited to the screen you're watching, so I can't go as far as I'd like, but uh, let's try that again. And if you've got more room, take it up. Five, six, left, 
foot samba vine. Double step, swivel loop, rock, step, rock, step, swivel loop, rock, step, and a base set. Okay? A little faster. Five, six, samba vine left. Okay, left foot's free. We're gonna do one hey you step. H E Y hey U Y O U. Okay? Left foot's gonna go double and then it's gonna step behind, but you're actually gonna impose weight on both feet with a little bounce. So double bounce, bounce again, and then lift the right foot up and chug on the left or or bounce again. Okay? And then add a single basic on that right, right foot that's free. So one hey you basic. Five, six, hey you basic. Double bounce, bounce, lift the right basic on the right. Five, six, hey you basic. Okay? Then on our, the two times we do this part, this final, by the way, part C, they both end slightly different, okay? So on the first time, you're gonna do a Kentucky, not a Kentucky basic, just the Kentucky. So double step, kick, drag, step across. And then you're gonna take your left foot and do a slur turn, it turns right, okay? So that's gonna go with the left foot, double step, slur, step, okay? But it's a turning step. So double step, and when you're slurring behind, take your shoulder with you and put the weight down so your left foot ends up being free. So some of you, that might be a new way of moving for you um, to turn with the slur, okay? So we're gonna do it with a Kentucky. It goes double step, kick, drag, step, double step, slur, turn. Left foot's free, okay? Let's put all of that together. We've got the Samba Vine, left foot hey you in a basic, left foot lead Kentucky, slur turn. Five, six, Samba Vine left, double step, swivel step, rock twice, swivel step, rock step, and a basic, hey you, single basic, Kentucky, Vine turn. Okay, we're going to repeat part of it. So we're going to start with our samba step. I'm typewritering so I can use my floor here. But wherever you land, you've got to go from there normally. We're going to start with that samba step facing the back. And then add the hey you and basic, but then stop. Five, six, samba step, go. Double step, swivel and step, rock twice. Swivel and step, rock behind and a basic. Hey you, single basic, but instead of doing that Kentucky with the slur, we're going to do a four count ball heel jazz box, okay? I'll face the front, left foot's free, we're going to do ball heel, ball heel, ball heel, ball heel, or ball step, or ball drop, okay? So that four count ball heel jazz box goes. One, one, two, three, and four, okay? But it's gonna turn funky. So we normally, if we're gonna do a turning jazz box, you would normally left foot lead, turn left. We're gonna use left foot lead to turn right half. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is on the first, I'm gonna sacrifice the first ball heel. It doesn't really go anywhere, okay? Ball heel. But on the second one, I'm going to start a quarter turn, and then three, and then four. And you're not even really all the way around, usually, okay? But this step always is followed by the chorus and the cha-cha, okay? So from this open position here, we do one, two, cha-cha-cha. So it's, it's designed to get us into that step. All right, so let's do a hey you, basic on the right, and a four count jazz box, but turning to the right with a left foot lead. Let's try that. Five, six, hey you on the left. Double bounce, bounce up, 
and a basic, here we go, jazz box turn. And then left foot cha-cha, okay? But we're facing the back, all right? So let's do all of part C. Let's talk it through real quick. We've got a samba vine, all right? We've got a hey you and a basic. Then we've got a Kentucky and a slur to turn to the back. Samba vine, rock twice. Add that basic on the end. One hey you and a basic. But here's where that jazz box goes. We're turning right. And cha cha. One, two, turn. You know the whole routine, okay? The pattern of the dance is in the order we learned it chorus. Okay, part A, which starts with the joey and the chain. Part B, that starts with the samba vine. Go back to the chorus. Back to part A, which is our joey again. Back to part B, which is our samba vine section. And then we're going to end it at the very, that last bit after that is two choruses. So we're going to do it just the chorus twice. That's the whole routine. Let's try it with music. We'll do it at this 90%. We'll do it 100%. And then I'll teach you that bonus step if you want to add it on with a little challenge. Here we go, 90% all the way through, hold 32 counts. Left foot starts off with cha cha, turning left shoulder.
just say whatever cause there is no way to replace uh, the second Birmingham step okay so I'm gonna layer this step so we're gonna actually start off modified and then add into it until it's as written um, and that will give you some variation because there is some heel holding if you do things like a walk the dog or a crow walk um, and you know the whole weight on that heel that's a theme in this step so if you don't like to hold your weight on your heel, or maybe you've got um, uh, plantar fasciitis or something, then I'm going to give you some options. So we're going to layer it on, all right? So it's going to start off left foot with stomp, right foot, double step, and then left foot, stomp, and then take away the double. You're going to do a double, but you're not going to think about it as a double. Do a brush, brush. Okay, and not a snappy double. So we're going to do the whole thing so far is stomp, double, step, stomp, brush, brush, rock, step. Okay, that much. Six, seven, and go. And stomp, double, step, stomp, double, rock, step. Right foot's free. Stomp on the right. Double step. Right foot, you can do a stomp. Double step, right foot stomp. Okay, that's eight count modified bonus step. So far we have this. Ready and go. Lift, stomp, double step, stomp, brush, brush, rock, step, stomp, double step, stomp, double step, stomp. So we start off on the left foot and end on the right foot. Again, that much. Ready and go. Go, lift, stomp, double step, stomp, brush, brush, rock, step, stomp, double step, stomp, double step, stomp. First edition of this step, making it a little bit harder, starting to look like itself again. Left foot's going to start with that stomp, stomp, double step, but then instead of stepping on the left, heel. Okay, and you're going to hold weight on the heel while you do the two slow brushes. Brush, brush, rock, step. Okay, so we have stomp, double step, heel, brush, brush, rock, step. Again, ready and go. And stomp, double step, heel, brush, brush, rock, step. Right foot stomp, stomp, left foot double step. But then right foot heel, 
double step, and then right foot stop. Okay, the whole step so far looks like this. And stomp, double step, heel, brush, brush, rock, step, stomp, double step, heel, double step, stomp. There's only one thing to add now. Okay, so let's do that much again one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. And stomp, double step, heel, brush, brush, rock, step, stomp, double step, heel, double step, stomp. Okay, all right. If you want to add the last little piece, it's going to go like this now. So stomp, double step, and when you do the heel, instead of doing a slow brush, brush, you're going to do two fast shuffle, shuffles. Okay, or double, double. So right foot, double, double, rock, step. Okay, so that's going to go lift, stomp, double, step, heel, double, double, rock, step. Everything else is the same. Right foot, stomp, double, step, heel, double, rock, step. Or stomp, double, step, heel, double, step, stomp. However you want to say that. Okay, that's the actual bonus. Five, six, left foot lift and stomp double step heel double double rock step stomp double step heel double step stomp five six bonus or right, add a clap on the end six seven eight clap okay so putting this into context we're facing the back and we do a birmingham and we turn left on count five If you want to sub out the next Birmingham for the bonus step, you're going to turn immediately on the clap down. Okay, so putting that with the Birmingham without turning goes like this. Six, seven, eight. Clap. Bonus clap. Again, five, six, Birmingham left. Clap. Bonus clap. Okay, with the turn. Five, six, Birmingham. Turn on five. Bonus turn on one. the bonus in or you can do the two Birminghams we're gonna dance it one final time with the music take your pick here we go I'm gonna bring it back down to 95 actually before we do that let's do a little faster run through real quick okay facing the front no turn a little faster Birmingham bonus five six Left foot, go. Bonus. Again, five, six, Birmingham. Bonus. And you're the first people to learn the full bonus. I have this step working in my head for a while, and we used half of it in a dance that Daryl and I wrote um, to What's a Man Gotta Do by Jonas Brothers. So check out that routine too. I know y'all know Daryl, and she's been a great human <laughs> to me. All right, you know the whole thing? Let's do it. Starting with that cha-cha last time. Here we go.
despite the challenge All you got is gonna be leave it better than you found it It's gonna get difficult to stand but hold your balance I just say whatever cause there is no way you're bound such an important part of our life, not only for the way we move, it's the way we exercise, but the most important thing is that it supports the friendships in our dance family that we've built around it. So take care of your dance family, keep checking on each other, keep your chin up, we're going to get through this, and I'll see you on the other side. If I can help you at all, reach out. Again, I'm Andy Howard from Atlanta, Georgia. Have a great rest of your workshop.